Hi there, it's Mr. Herman. We're back with another video. This time we're going to be working with some data. I thought we'd use the data from the reflex test from period 2-3. We did with the tape measures, and we're going to use our numbers to, uh, in the form of stem leaf plot, we're going to go ahead and make from this um, a box whisker plot, and we're also going to calculate thresholds, I believe, if we have time. So let's start by, why don't we find the median and then the quartile so we can calculate thresholds. So starting with this data, there are 23 numbers here in this data set. So we take 23 divide by 2, we get 11 and a half, and then round it up to 12. And then that gives us the 12th number in from either the top or the bottom would be the median. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is the median right here. There is a middle number since it's an odd number. Then we're going to go from there and look at the other halves of the data. The bottom half from here to here, and the upper half from here to here. Since we have 23 numbers, 23 minus 1 is 22, which means there's 11 in each set here. And if we take 11 again, divide by 2, that's 5 and a half, rounded up to 6. In this case, we have two sets of odd numbers, so it works out well. This is a middle number in each case then. So the sixth number in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, this one right here, that's Q3. So the third quartile, Q3, is 77. Don't forget the stem and the leaf. Q1 is going to be in the sixth number in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 63. Don't forget the stem again. I'm going to go ahead and calculate thresholds on this first. We can do that right over here. And the, or actually, we'll do them right over here on the side here. Right down here, actually. So the formula is going to be for the lower threshold and upper threshold. And we'll do those separately and check for outliers. And if you were in this class, we did it in this class, but we didn't do it in the other classes, so it's good to, to see how it works out. So the formulas for those, maybe those are going to be on the quiz, Q1 minus, but the test it won't be on, so you'll have to know them for that. But it, as we talked about before, it's pretty easy to remember these. This is the interquartile range times 1.5. And, uh, for this one here, it's Q3 plus 1.5 times interquartile range. So it's Q1, let's say at 63, so take 63 minus 1.5 times 77 minus 63. And over here, 77 plus 1.5 times 77 minus 63. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause this. Uh, you can use your calculators to figure that out then. And I believe the lower threshold for this one ends up being 42. The upper threshold is 98. Again, how to read these thresholds and understand these. Uh, if we look at the lower threshold of 42, what that number is telling us is if a number goes lower than 42, it is considered an outlier. In our data set, we have several numbers less than that. 26 is lower, 36 is lower, and 40 is lower. 43 is not as higher. So in this end, we have outliers. of 26, 36, and 40. On the upper end, our highest number is 85, which does not exceed the 98, which means we did not have an outlier in the upper end. So only outliers on the low end in this one. As for making the box and whisker plot, we can squeeze that right in here on the side probably. So let's go right over here, put a line down here so we can have something to go by. Looks like I have a range of 26 to 85, so I'm going to go 20 to 90, and I should be able to fit that in 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 pretty easily, so 20, 30, and so on, 40, 50. Make sure you, uh, that when you're doing this also, that you look carefully at the numbers and make sure you have a wide range, you don't cut things off or not include numbers. So let's graph each of our five number summary. Remember the five number summary is made up of the highest number, the lowest number, the two quartiles, and the medium. So we know those.